So the Panda Touch is a third party screen that basically takes away that little Kindle screen that you get on the Bamboo Lab P1P or the P1S and upgrades it with a nice little touchscreen interface. And I've been using this now for about a week, so I figured I'd let you know my thoughts on it. Full disclosure, Big Tree Tech did send this over to me free of charge. It's not a sponsored video or anything like that. I've not asked to see the video, but just thought I'd get that out there. So one of the big complaints when it comes to something like the P1P or the P1S is that it comes with this tiny little Kindle screen. It's not great to interact with, but the one saving grace about this is they have a really robust phone app and also a desktop app as well. So I never really got bothered about using it too much until the Bamboo Lab A1 came out and had a lovely little screen. So when Big Tree Tech reached out to me and said that they wanted to send this over to me just to kind of get my opinion on it and just kind of some thoughts, I think, why not? It's worthwhile having to play with. Now, this has some really interesting features and it also has a couple of drawbacks as well. So we'll go over some of those things that I've discovered in using it. Now, the first thing is, it's not actually attached to the device. So you can take this screen off and you can use it anywhere. So when you get it set up, which is really easy by the way, you can either place it on the printer like I've done there so that was just always in one place, but it doesn't have to be. So if you've got multiple printers, this will pair up with lots of different printers. So for example, I've got my two P1Ss paired up with this at the moment, and that means that if I need to check any of the status or anything, granted I have my phone app, but I can just log on to this. So if you're the kind of person who's got like a print farm, for example, and you want something that's like a central hub without having to go to like your laptop or your desktop or whatever it is that you're using, you could have something like this and just pair everything up to it and it just gives you a little bit more control. You can see what the progress of the machine is and all of that stuff from here. I just think that's a really handy thing to have. Another nice little thing to consider as well, if you do have something like a print farm or if you just don't want to have to get your phone app out or get your desktop app out, is you can use a USB on this as well. Obviously the P1S doesn't have a USB slot, it has the mic micro SD slot, but you've got the USB here, so you can plug a USB into it and then wirelessly transmit that file to one of the printers and start the print as well, which is quite a nifty little feature. Putting it back on is really easy again. It's got these magnets on the back, so it clips on just like that and that starts it charging. So I mentioned the setup being really easy and basically you take that bracket and you put it onto your P1S or your P1P or put it onto a side or wherever you want it to and then you need to plug in the USB-C cable. Now the great thing is the P1P, now the great thing is the P1S has this USB hub right at the front which I didn't realize. And basically you plug your cable into there, route it along the front panel and then pop it up through this nifty little kind of hole on the front of the printer. The USB cable then plugs into the bracket and that way this, when it clips on, via the magnet, that will then start charging automatically. So you don't have to worry about plugging it in or anything like that. So it's a really nice, well thought out seamless device. Now in terms of spec, it's not the biggest thing in the world. So it's a five inch display and pixel wise, it's only 800 by 480. But for what you're gonna be doing on this, that's more than enough. The text is really legible. It's easy to see from different viewing angles as well. So all in all, it's a pretty good display, especially at the price point. I think it retails for around about $50 or 50 pounds. So it's easy to set up, it looks pretty good, but what's it actually like to use with the printer? And is it worthwhile in that respect? Now, I think it all comes down to how you're gonna be using it. So for example, I tend to do everything on my MacBook and just do everything wirelessly. I've never really interacted with that tiny little Kindle screen because A, it's a bit fiddly, but I've never really felt as though I had the need to. However, on the Bamboo Lab A1, I do use the screen a lot more just because it's nicer to use. Now, one of the good things about the Panda Touch is you do get a lot more control. So when I walk into the room, for example, I wanna quickly check on how far in a print is or the status of a print, for example. I can just jump onto this and see, and it'll just tell me how long it's got left on this printer or my other printer as well. So it's nice and easy rather than having to grab my phone or my laptop. So in that respect, it's really nice. You can also browse any files that you've already got sliced on your printer as well. So you can go to the folder on here, you can choose the file that you wanna get printing and then just get it started on the machine without again having to load anything up. Granted, you can do that on the little screen on the P1P and P1S, but again, it's just a little bit more fiddly. So it's nice to have that functionality on here. You also get all your basic options as well. So you can change things like the temperature, you can turn the light on and off and just get all of that functionality. And you also get access to the AMS settings on here as well. So that way you can play around with that too. So all in all, it sounds almost perfect, but there are a couple of drawbacks with this. And one of the first ones is, and I probably wouldn't have noticed this if I hadn't have been using the A1, and it might be something this has and I've just never seen it, but it doesn't tell me things like my print has finished and it doesn't tell me how long it's been printing for. Not that I'm too bothered about that, but sometimes it's nice to have the option to hit the reprint option. So that way I don't have to go back in and load it all up again. On the A1, for example, once a print's finished, I can pop it off the bed and hit reprint and it just does it with the exact same settings I already had loaded in there. So if you're printing multiple of something, just a nice to have. It's also not the most reliable thing in the world when it comes to staying connected to the device. So one thing that I have noticed is that sometimes I'll just lose connection and I'll either have to power this off or power off the printer 
reconnect it and then it comes back but sometimes it just drops out for what seems like no apparent reason my wi-fi could be the issue although i've had zero issues with anything else connecting to it so just one thing to consider currently there's loads of factors that could be causing that it could be this unit it could be my printers it could be the wi-fi so your setup may vary but for me i have had a couple of hiccups where it's just not staying connected and the final thing to mention is that it is a third party accessory and that means that if bamboo lab wanted to could ultimately kill it with a software update for your printer which would stop it from being able to communicate with the device now hopefully this isn't going to happen and they do seem to be becoming more open to the idea of having different types of software on the printers as well so if it did happen then hopefully you'd be able to load up a different third party software onto your printer and then use your third party accessories that would void your warranty though so just something worthwhile considering probably not going to be an issue but i think it's worthwhile mentioning just in case that did come up in the future and you buy one of these and then you're disappointed because suddenly you lose out on it so all in all this is a really interesting device compared to the little kindle type screen that comes with the p1p or the p1s it's a night and day upgrade it's so nice to be able to interact with and if you're the kind of person who has a print farm or multiple printers and you don't have to load up the software on your app or your phone all the time just to check things like the status or load a new print then it's well and truly worth the cost it's got a couple of weird little quirks on there like the connection stuff but from my experience so far i've really enjoyed using it and it's just a nice extra to have so thanks so much to Big Tree Tech for sending this over to me. It's a really nice little machine. And for the relatively low cost, it's probably worthwhile checking one out. So thanks for watching that video. And hopefully I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.